threats, American sanctions on the Iranian economy will remain in place. The president says European countries and China should work with the U.S. to draw up a new deal with Iran. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Phil Amato. I'm Don Lopez. He says Iran's mayhem and murderous ways will not be tolerated any longer. Here's the very latest on the unrest overseas. The president emphasized all Americans overseas are safe. No American or Iraqi lives were lost. He says that there was an early warning system about the attack that went perfectly. Today, U.S. leaders are responding, and we'll hear from our local congressman in just minutes. Action News Jax's live coverage right now. We'll hear from our specialist in Washington who will break down the president's speech in just moments. We begin locally with coverage at Naval Station Mayport with Action News Jax Beth Russo. And you can see the cars right here next to me streaming into Naval Station Mayport. We can't show you the security gate because we're not allowed. And leaders here say they can't talk to us about specific security measures. However, we talk to families who frequent this base and others in the area. They tell us they have seen added safety measures since these attacks. Kylie Bradford's husband is in the Navy, so the news of Iran launching missiles overnight hit hard. It's very scary because it's just the reality of being military. You always think that it's not going to be your family, but the reality is, is that it could be at literally any minute. The mom tells me the lack of information about the attacks makes her even more nervous. With my husband being in the military, my biggest fear is that even just at home, you know, things happen here too. Action News Jax talked with representatives at NAS Jax and Naval Station Mayport. Both tell us they can't talk about base safety measures, but assure they're keeping a close eye on what's happening in the Middle East. Kings Bay Naval Base says they're always ready to handle any scenario. It can happen anywhere, so it doesn't even matter if it was out of the country. Bradford has noticed more security, which she appreciates, since there are so many things she can't control about what's to come for her husband. He volunteered to go to Afghanistan, and he said he would do it again, so that makes me incredibly nervous. Right now, I'm reaching out to learn whether any of the ships based here at Naval Station Mayport are currently deployed in the Middle East or they're heading in that direction. All that part of the story coming up all new on Action News Jax at 5. We're live at Naval Station Mayport. Beth Russo, Action News Jax. We have team coverage in Washington just down the street from the White House right now. And that's right. Continuing our live coverage right now with Action News Jax, Jacqueline Fell. Jackie, President Trump appears to want to cool things off now. Don, Phil, good morning or good afternoon. Uh, facing what could be one of his biggest moments as commander in chief, President Trump announces new sanctions on Iran unless he says the nation changes its behavior. He says the country appears to be standing down. Which is a good thing for all parties concerned and a very good thing for the world. Even before saying good morning, the president said he will never allow Iran to have a nuclear weapon. We've certainly seen a shift in the president's tone in the wake of Iran's retaliation. Earlier, he vowed to strike back if Iran targeted U.S. troops, but no U.S. deaths were reported. The president signaled he's now moving towards sanctions since Iran launched more than a dozen missiles at two military bases in Iraq. Lawmakers have called on the president to de-escalate tensions with Iran. Senate Democrats are also demanding answers and greater transparency from the Defense Secretary about U.S. troop deployment to the Middle East. This afternoon, administration officials plan to brief congressional lawmakers regarding the U.S. strike that killed a top Iranian general, as well as other developments. Reporting live in Washington, Jacqueline Fell, CBS 47, Action News, Jax. Right after all of the chaos in Iraq, a Ukrainian jetliner went down in Iran. This is the very first video of the crash. You can see the flames here from this man's cell phone. All 176 passengers who had just taken off from the airport were killed. The airport is in Tehran, the capital of Iran. Now, both Ukrainian and Iranian spokespeople say that this has nothing to do with the chaos in Iraq. They suspect a mechanical issue brought down that plane. Phil? Well, the president says we do not need Middle East oil, but the tension with Iran could still impact your wallet if global oil shipments are disrupted. Expect prices to increase. 
Now, we have a way to monitor the cheapest gas prices around town. You can find the gas prices link under the traffic tab on actionnewsjacks.com. Now, right now, crude oil is actually down about 4% a barrel, and the Dow up 200 points. Also, the cheapest gas around is $2.32 a gallon. Your best bet to stay ahead of what's happening overseas is to download the free Action News Jax app. We'll send alerts, some major developments directly to your phone. New this noon, Action News Jax has the first video we've seen of Brianna Williams, who faces child neglect charges. Williams arrived in a red jumpsuit, as you can see here, to make a not guilty plea in court. That hearing took all of 90 seconds. Williams did not speak. She's charged with child neglect and lying to police. She is not accused of killing her daughter, Taylor Rose Williams, just five years old, who police say likely hadn't been seen for months before her body was found. Action News Jack's Bridget Matter joins us live right now at the courthouse. Bridget, this is the first time we've seen any video of this mom, Brianna Williams. Yeah, it's the first time that we have seen her in court. We were supposed to see her last month or earlier this month, but her hearings were delayed twice. This is that new video of Brianna Williams appearing in a red jumpsuit, which usually will indicate a high-risk inmate or a risk for self-harm. She looks very thin compared to a mugshot released to the public shortly after her arrest. Williams was hospitalized after she was found unconscious from a suicide attempt. As of today, Williams has not been charged in the death of her daughter, Taylor Williams. Now, she is due back in court in February for another pretrial hearing, and she's being held right now on a more than $1 million bond. In downtown, Bridget Matter, CBS 47 Action News Jax. Now, also in court today, an unlicensed contractor connected to the disappearance of a local woman. This is new video of Corey Binderham. He's the only named person of interest in Susan Malden's missing persons case. Today, he pleaded not guilty to unrelated fraud charges. 65 year old Malden has been missing since October now. Binderham had been hired to do work on her house. He's due back in court next month. Just into the Action News Jack's newsroom, we're getting our first look at Zebulon Perkins, the man arrested in connection with the death of a local teacher, Vivian James. Police say that Perkins was found driving her car with evidence linking him to the crime scene. This beloved Atlantic Coast High School teacher was found dead in her home December 28th, just after Christmas. Perkins is not charged with murder. Troopers tell us that a 10 year old boy died in his family's minivan late last night in a crash. This video from I 10 shows just how far our crews had to stay away from the scene of the crash. The Florida Highway Patrol says that a semi crossed the median and hit the family's van around 8 last night. To give you a better idea of where this exactly happened, that's right next to the Winn Dixie Warehouse off I 10. It took crews until this morning to clear that crash. Derek Odom says that they were out there for about eight hours. And troopers told us this morning another person died on the roadways. This time it was US 17 at Hamilton Street in Nassau County. And that happened just this morning. They have not identified that victim. This afternoon, Duval County teacher's aide is out of a job. Action News Jax told you last night when Philip Gibson was accused of slamming a student to the point where his jaw was broken. The district also found Gibson made inappropriate profanity laced comments in front of students. Gibson was a paraprofessional at Palm Avenue Exceptional Student Center. This afternoon, a judge will hear more legal arguments on whether to order DNA testing on evidence in a Glen County death row case. As it is right now, Jimmy Meters, Meters rather, will be executed on the 16th for murdering a store clerk in 1987. His lawyer is the one fighting for that DNA testing, claiming he wasn't even there the night of the murder. That lawyer wants a new trial. New video sent to the Action News Jack's newsroom gives us an incredible look at what's left of the Jacksonville landing. I don't even recognize this anymore. Right now, the old sushi restaurant is just about the only thing standing here. All the rest of the structure is gone. Action News Jax has been taking pictures from the same spot since October. Demolition is supposed to be completed by May. A major update from Georgia this noon. A Texas based company has been put in charge of removing the Golden Ray from the St. Simon Sound. Sky Action News Jax was there in September, the day the ship capsized. And now the TNT company will work on a timeline and a blueprint for how to remove this vessel. And we showed you last night at 6 some of the big parts, including the propeller of that ship, are already off and being used as parts of a man made barrier off the coast of Georgia. 
and the process is going to be a long one. We have close up photos of the Golden Ray that show the scale of the operation on our website at actionnewsjacks.com. From the Action News Jack's First Alert Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Corey Sima. Wintertime about to take a break in northeast Florida and southeast Georgia. I'm tracking near record highs in the First Alert 7 day forecast. And ahead at noon, ignore this message. Action News Jax is working to find who's sending fake draft texts to young men around Jacksonville. And exclusive video shows a mysterious boom. Action News Jax presses police about what happened at Atlantic Beach last night. What to watch tonight, brought to you by Ashley Home Store. We have a live look at Washington, D.C. this afternoon at the White House, where President Trump addressed the nation an hour ago, saying new sanctions will be put on Iran, but the U.S. is ready to embrace peace. Here's the very latest now. U.S. forces say there were no American casualties. To clarify, the two bases that were hit are Iraqi bases, but Americans are stationed there. Iraq's prime minister says the Iranians verbally told the Iraqi government that the retaliation was about to start last night. Today, we're also getting a better look at those missiles launched last night. Iranian TV says this is the moment the missiles hit Al Assad Air Base. They say more than a dozen missiles were launched. Daylight broke there about 11 p.m. our time. That's when the Iraqis got the first look of the shrapnel from those missiles lining fields and parts of town. Witnesses say the impact shook buildings and broke glass. The local lawmakers are watching every development right now from the Middle East, and we're asking could the unrest affect our military communities here at home? Action News Jack's Paige Kelton has some answers for us, and you've been reaching out, Paige. Yeah, Don, since uh, the president wrapped up his national address about 15 minutes ago, I've been in touch with our local members of Congress to get their reaction to the president's comments. 
Jacksonville Republican Congressman John Rutherford told me while he was grateful there were no casualties from last night's attack, he says, quote, I'm disappointed in the reactions and statements from many of my colleagues across the aisle. Now is not the time to attempt to score cheap political points. We must all come together and support our country, our decision makers, and our service members in harm's way. I also uh, spoke to Congressman Al Lawson's office uh, a few moments ago, the Democrat from our area. They're working to get me his reaction to the president. Speech. Follow me on Twitter at Page A N Jax for that. Action News Jax is the only local station with a bureau in Washington, D.C. Our crews there are also working to get more reaction on camera from our local lawmakers. We'll have more context from our experts also about how this all impacts you. Look for that starting on Action News Jax at 5. Paige Kelton, CBS 47, Action News Jax. Thanks, Paige. And for the latest on what's happening overseas, download the free Action News Jax mobile app. As soon as something happens, of course, we'll alert you directly to your phone. Doorbell video shows a flash and a bang. That had a lot of families on alert last night, waking them up. Take a listen. That was the sound out at Atlantic Beach last night. We've reached out to the Atlantic Beach Police Department. They tell Action News Jax that they got several calls from all over the city around midnight. The public information officer says that she was advised that it was maybe fireworks, but wanted us to double check with Jacksonville Fire, uh, Jacksonville's Sheriff's Office for more. Some folks out by Kernan and Beach Boulevard say they could even hear it. JSO has yet to respond to our request. As soon as we find out more, we'll let you know. Coming to Jacksonville in 2020, Nick Cannon is bringing his Wild and Out special live to Star Veterans Memorial Arena. It's the first stop on the tour, which spans from coast to coast. The show itself is March 3rd. Tickets, by the way, for the general public go on sale this Friday. Well, young men in Jacksonville and really all around the country are getting this message saying they've been considered eligible for the draft and they're supposed to report to the nearest recruiting office to head straight to Iran. We want you to know today this is not real, this is fake. The draft has not been in effect since the 1970s. Anyone who serves in the military will have to voluntarily enroll. Now, certified Jacksonville's most accurate forecast. Action News Jack's first alert weather. Oh, the blue sky and sunshine we have on the Action News Jack's first alert sky cam network. This is St. Augustine Beach. Our camera, our new first alert sky cam network on top of the embassy suites. And it looks really nice out there. It is pretty chilly, though. 55 degrees. There's that north wind at 20 miles per hour, gusting up to 21. At north wind, it will subside throughout the day today. So hour by hour, Jack Jacksonville, Mayport, St. Augustine, middle to upper 50s now. We aren't climbing all that much through this afternoon and early evening. Low to middle 60s for Jacksonville, and the beach is kind of stuck in the upper 50s near 60 degrees, cooling off a little bit into this evening. Hour by hour in southeast Georgia, Brunswick, St. Simons Island, Waycross, upper 50s now, sunshine for everybody. Only up into the low to middle 60s this afternoon and cooling a little bit by 5 and 6 o'clock this evening and tonight. There is no rain on First Alert Doppler H. A dry one today, and over the next couple, we are going to keep the rain away. In the hour by hour forecast, there are those north winds. They're going to turn more out of the northeast and then east throughout the day tomorrow. That's going to increase the cloud cover just a little bit, but Thursday will still be a mostly to partly sunny day. We're going to start warming up. That is the big story on Thursday and into Friday. Even though the cloud cover will continue to increase on Friday, that is not going to hurt the temperatures at all. Look at this winter warmth. The high on Saturday, 81 degrees, 80 on Sunday, as warm as 82 on Tuesday. Every one of these afternoons will be near record highs. Record high is 83 Saturday and 82 on Sunday. I would expect at least one and maybe two of these to fall. The average high, 64 degrees. We will be well above that. The battleground between the warm air and the cold air will be just to our northwest, where you see the blue coloring here, basically over the Mississippi Valley, and then the red colors here over the south. This is the dividing line, and that is where there will be active weather starting on Friday and into Saturday. Locally, we're just going to see 
cloud cover, nice warm temperatures, a few showers here and there too as this ridge of high pressure really builds just to our east. Your weekend, that's always in view in the first alert seven day forecast, and it's just a few showers. This does not look like a wet weekend. There will be dry times if you are trying to get out and about, and there will be some sunshine too. We're going to play the sea breeze on Saturday, if you can believe that, here in the month of January with just a few showers extending through Monday and Tuesday, well above average temperatures. You can download the Action News Jack's First Alert Weather app. It is the most accurate forecast that you can take every Everywhere. And join Chief Meteorologist Mike Burrish today at 5 on CBS 47, Fox 30. All new this noon, items used for self-care, causing some serious discomfort. The product doctors are telling you to test out before you use. And a family's home ransacked by an intruder while they vacation during Christmas. The surprise visitor they found nestled in their couch. New at noon, a Missouri teen says a popular at-home facial mask left her skin red and painful. She used the Yes2 brand. That's the same brand another teen said she had issues with last week. Doctors say the best thing to do is to avoid this by spot testing it to make sure your skin is not sensitive. An Atlanta area family says that they came home from Christmas vacation to find their house a mess. Take a look for yourself. This mess was caused by no burglar. It was a squirrel, just a squirrel. They think it came in through the fireplace and got stuck and went wild. They found the animal in a nest that it made in the couch. We'll be right back.
Coming up on CBS 47 Fox 30, Action News Jax at 5 p.m., nasty allergies causing the kind of symptoms you see during flu season. The new treatments allergy sufferers can do from their own home to make them breathe easier when pollen season ramps back up. Sunny and cool the rest of today, and then we warm up not feeling like winter. All right. Nice. Looking forward to that. Have a good day. Why not ours next? These new ones? Hello, hello. Mic check.